welcome to my channel and my little video series where I show you some sketches and video of my trip to Europe, like literally last year, because it takes me five years to do anything. If you missed the previous video, the previous video was all about my time in Paris. So if you'd be interested in watching that before watching this one, then I'm gonna link that up here and you can come back to this one. Um, but in this video, we are going to be talking about my time in Edinburgh. And so I'm going to go through uh, my sketchbook and chronologically go through all the events of our trip and talk about the sketches that I made from the trip and then show you videos that I took on the trips. So I just wanna give you a little heads up that um, I did not have as much footage for this video as I would have liked. And that is for two reasons. It was because one, there was a lot of rain in Edinburgh. And so I couldn't take out my nice camera that I'm filming on right now. And secondly, um, you would think that if I couldn't take this camera out, then I wouldn't have been able to take out my phone, but it was doing this really fun thing where it wasn't taking video. So uh, yeah, I would press the little record button and then it would just stop recording instantly. And I would get no footage. Uh, it just didn't want to record anything because it hated me. So I couldn't record anything until like the very end of my time in Edinburgh on my phone at least. So I got limited footage from my camera and almost no video on my phone. And so I tried to supplement as much as I could with photos. Obviously I have sketches that I'm gonna show you, but I just wanna give you a little heads up in that arena, like if you care about that. I also like the drawings were really all over the place because I drew some of the stuff while I was in Edinburgh and then tried to fit in other drawings later. And because I was kind of like guesstimating how many pages each day was gonna take, like things are just really all over the place in terms of like chronologically when things happen. So I try my best to explain things and edit things together chronologically so that things made sense. But um, if, if it feels a little chaotic, that's why. I also was kind of rambly in the beginning of this video. So I, I cut out a whole section at the very beginning. And so it's just gonna really jump in. We're just gonna jump in, okay? But I tried my very best to make it as good as I possibly could. So if you could do me a favor and give it a little thumbs up on this video to kind of pregame and also say, hey, thanks Allison for all your efforts to put this video together. Uh, yeah, I would really appreciate that. I hope you enjoy the video. And if you could stay to the end, get yeah, nothing in return for it other than the enjoyment of watching it. So, um, enjoy. Um, so we went to our hotel. Um, right here would have been our hotel. And then we have the Royal Mile. Edinburgh Castle is here. This is where um, we went to Cold Town House. And then Holy... Like, this is spelled Holy Rude, but everyone calls it Holy Road. So I don't understand that, but yeah, that's there. And I'm just realizing that I had scribbled over some text that I wrote here. I originally colored in all this stuff with um, pencil, but then I decided that I wanted to uh, do it with paint marker. And I guess I did the paint marker and then just uh, didn't write the stuff back in here so and then I guess I closed it too soon because you see this just green stuff over there and got checked in um that hotel was a little weird like um like the hotel itself was fine like it's not like the people there were weird or something but more just like the room was weird like somehow it was muggy and cold and there was this weird plasticky smell in the room and there was like no way you could turn on any sort of AC and you could only open the window like an inch or two uh, because it went out into this courtyard that was like open to everybody in the in the hotel but um yeah so it was like I don't know just really odd like how is it possible that a room is muggy and at the same time cold. I don't know. We dropped off our bags. We decided to go for a long walk and, and check out the Royal Mile. I wanted to try to go to a pub. Um, so we went to, I don't know, some, something, some sort of pub right around here, but I think they had stopped. Um, like they had 
cut off, I don't know, new customers. They weren't allowing anybody else to come in because um, it was getting kind of late. And so this guy, he was like, oh, uh, there's this uh, place down the way that, you know, they have some pretty good food and they're pretty, pretty trendy. And we're like, uh, OK, I guess I guess. Um, so he gave us some directions and we went there. This is the place that we went to. It was the worst food ever. I swear. And like, I got a bacon cheeseburger. Worst bacon cheeseburger I ever had. It somehow was so incredibly dry. I could not eat the whole thing. I ate half of it. It was called Ox 184, OX 184. Um, I mean, who knows if it's still open with the way that the food was, but at least Juan's food was decent. He was able to eat the whole thing. And then finally, like we were trying to get ready to, to go and get the bill and get out of there. Juan was like, oh, are you going to finish that burger? I'm like, oh, I don't think so. Uh, so then he took like one bite and he was like, wow, that is awful. No, I'm not eating that. Which for my husband is saying a lot. Not that he like will just eat anything. If I'm not going to finish something, he'll eat it. So this was, um, I don't know, some sort of clock tower right about here as you're walking, I think the North Bridge. So I think I had probably shown some clips of Juan's shoes coming apart. Um, so they were coming apart in Paris. So he bought these knockoff Converse things and um, he, he just couldn't stand to wear them anymore. So when we got to Edinburgh, like the first day we were there, he ended up going to a mall and he went and got himself some real Converse and he literally just ditched these in the hotel room. It was like, I'm not taking these with me. <laughs> took a tour of the Edinburgh Castle. It was like a guided tour. This guy walked us around and told us some of the history. And um, yeah, he was a really cool guy. Really uh, funny, in my opinion. I don't know what it was about all the group tours that we went on, but almost every tour that we went on, people were just such fuddy daddies like i don't know tour guides are all cracking jokes they're trying to be friendly and nice and everybody's just like giving them like dead eye stares and i'm like oh my god like <laughs> some people woke up on the wrong side of the bed but anyways so after the um tour of the edinburgh castle we went to the scotch whiskey experience and at the Scotch Whiskey Experience, they you get to do like a little ride kind of thing where they take you through the um, distilling process for Scotch Whiskey. And it's kind of funny um, that they literally made a ride out of it. And then you get to taste some whiskey and they take you into the um, Scotch Whiskey collection, which this guy, I don't know, started some, I think he lived in South America. I'm not exactly sure where, maybe Central America. And somehow he tried some Scotch whiskey and loved it so much that he started collecting it. I think I calculated at a rate of about, I, I think towards the end he was collecting like two or three bottles a month of Scotch whiskey. Um, so there were like, I think over a thousand bottles. I'm not really sure the exact number. I'm sure there's a picture that I took. Yeah, he he, he had so much whiskey um, and they used to have that collection on display there. After that Scotch whiskey experience, um, we actually decided to go uh, buy some whiskey and ship it home. So we literally left the Scotch whiskey experience, went all the way down here past the edge of the page and went to a place that ships DHL. We're like, hey, or would we be allowed to ship some whiskey to the US? And they looked into it. They're like, yeah, you're good to go. No problem. Uh, so we're like, okay, we'll be right back. And we w walked back, bought our bottles of whiskey, came back over here, packed it all up, and then, you know, shipped it off. I was actually pretty impressed with the DHL shipping because literally it was like we had the glass whiskey bottles and then we also got these free shot glasses. Literally put those in and they were touching the edge of the box. Somehow everything made it 
just fine nothing broke i was really really impressed like i feel like literally it was just walked by hand the entire way um so it was pretty cool Okay, this one I actually did do while we were on the trip. This is, uh, the, as you can see, the Royal Mile Tavern. And we sat there and uh, got a beer. So I thought this would be a great time to use my new sketchbook. And so I just started sketching what was around me. And um, yeah, it was, I think it turned out pretty good, actually. I'm pretty pleased with this. Um, and then this was a pretty cool thing. This is like some sort of rec center, I guess. Um, in Edinburgh and it just really stood out to me because it, the the red shutters at the top um, so it was just something that I just was really itching to draw it was really cool uh, here are some drawings from our trip to the distillery so on the next morning we got up bright and early and we had a, a group tour a bus tour to uh, two distilleries there was this one Glen Goen and then there was another one called Beanston. <laughs> yeah, so um, we are taking a group whiskey tour. We were, we, we were just barely on time. We're, I think we're actually, we were the last ones on the bus. I, think, I, I guess they the took theme. off at 9.30 and they were late. They were, we were late, they were waiting on We us. were like oh, one minute from 9.30. Yeah, so, but they were supposed to leave at 9.30. Anyways, we still made it. They didn't leave us, so that's good. Apparently that's the custom out here. What? Just they don't leave people. Like even on the tour, like the, of the castle, they were waiting for everybody. It's like, I only have, let's wait until everyone gets here. I don't know, maybe that's the custom. I think it was just because it, it wasn't, I, I feel like generally they give you a grace period, you know? I, even in the United States, usually like if you're on a group tour, they'll give you like a 10 minute leeway maybe before they're like, all right. Yeah. Um, but anywho, so we're at these bridges. So apparently that one was made in the 1870, I think, is what he said. And then there's another one, where is it? So that one was made in the in 1970. And there's that one that was just opened in 2017. So yeah, it was pretty cool. three different centuries. It's pretty neat. One, I think we gotta go. So we don't wanna be late again. Where's one? He's way back there. Everybody. Thanks to all the pullers that go to make the, up the, uh, the spectrum. So that's the Kelpies that he was gonna make the journey. And off he sat. Unfortunately for Alex, I Uh, I preferred Glen Goen, to be honest. Um, I feel like the quality was a lot better. Uh, and it was, yeah, but it was really interesting. Me and Juan both learned a lot about whiskey and scotch whiskey in particular. Um, neither of us are super knowledgeable about whiskeys. Um, so, yeah, it was very informative for both of us. And then we can, you know, try whiskey and swish it around and be like, oh, yes the color uh and sound very pretentious so <laughs> and just the scenery of course as we were going around the uh scottish countryside was just really 
just so beautiful and breathtaking. While we were here in this distillery, um, the they were showing us some of the special runs, I guess. So they had one that they have been has been aging since 1975 and it's supposed to be a 50 year scotch whiskey so there was like a whole cask and he said that i don't know there was going to be like this much whiskey left in it um by the time they open it up and so he said when they open it up turns out it was going to be like twenty two thousand dollars for a bottle you know what's funny i just realized i forgot to put the shot glass in there oops so after the scotch whiskey tour we went to this place called cold town house and we had a beer um and then we went to this place called maki and ramen and we got some ramen there um we it was like on our way to the hotel and we kept passing by it and juan was like i don't know why but i keep seeing that place and I, it's just really making me want some ramen i really want to eat there and i'm like we really went halfway around the world to get ramen which we could easily get at home <laughs> that was how we ended uh our last day uh in edinburgh and then this is the roof of the cold town house um i don't know what it is i feel like i probably just should not have colored this in because i feel like after i colored it in like it's just not doing it for me uh, maybe it's just that i need to finish out some of these areas um or I, maybe it's like the texture in some spots um but yeah i'm just like not feeling it colored in i feel like it looked so much better um in black and white but i don't know maybe there's something i can do to fix it but yeah this place is pretty cool it was recommended by somebody to me on the plane that was like a international student i think she was studying abroad um and this is a pretty hot spot and they have like three different levels and each level they do something different like i think there was a level where it's like a, basically an italian restaurant and they serve pizza um and this was like their bar area and it has a really nice view of the edinburgh castle Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Again, I don't think it was like as good as I wanted it to be, but if you still liked it, I would really appreciate a like and a subscribe because um, it took me a really long time to edit this together because it's not easy because I work full time and I only have my lunch breaks to edit. And this past month has kind of been a disaster with that. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and if you are, wanting more of this type of content i am actually going to put out like three or four more videos of this kind of format um because i have three other cities and then a as i mentioned in the paris video a bonus city uh, so there is going to be more of this if you want to see more go ahead and subscribe because you're going to get more uh, i hope you have a wonderful day in the meantime don't quit your daydream and i will see you in the next one bye